Okay, have you ever heard of the phrase Sunday Scaries? If not, you've definitely, probably felt this before. So the Sunday Scaries, it refers to that feeling of dread, that feeling of angst that you get before work or before school on Sunday night into Monday. It's not a new concept, of course, but according to the Newport Institute, the feeling is more apparent now, particularly in Millennials and Gen Z. So with so many people experiencing the Sunday Scaries, psychology expert Blanca Cobb, here to offer ways to cope with this. So Blanca, let's start out, I mean, do you think that, I would guess, that the pandemic might have intensified this some. Absolutely. The pandemic has intensified it because our lifestyles change from what we used to do, go wherever we want, whatever we want, see who we wanted at any time. All of that changed because now we have to worry about whether people should get a booster. First of all, did they get vaccinated about boosters? Is there another strain of the virus? And then how work has changed, whether people are going to go back to the office, whether it's going to be remote work, whether it's going to be a hybrid, plus inflation plus recession, plus loneliness, that's just exacerbated that Sunday scary. Okay, so that's all the things we have going on in our heads with all that. So talk about the mindset and how to control it so that you don't let yourself just get run over by all this. And that is so important. And this is where you control what you can. You have to think about what is it about Monday or school or work that scares you. If when you're able to isolate what it is and figure it out, figure out why, then you can control those thoughts that you have. What happens is you have runaway thoughts and runaway emotions, which makes the situation much bigger than it possibly is. So for example, if you're not prepared for Monday for whatever reason, how can you get prepared? Or is there a particular meeting that you're worried about? Or certain people that you're not sure how to interact with? What is it exactly and why? And what's a plan of action? Mm -hmm. So true story, when I was a kid on Sunday nights, I hated that ticking clock at the beginning of 60 minutes because I knew it was bedtime <laughs> and then school the next day. Uh -huh. And to this day, I can't stand that sound. So are there certain things you could do maybe on Sunday that can help prepare you for Monday? Yes, don't listen to that ticking clock. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you bring up a really good point. If there is something that you know that just, just gets your anxiety going, stay away from it. Find things that are going to help you calm down, particularly in the afternoon and getting close to nighttime when it's time for you to call it a day. Why? Because then your mindset is more of relaxation. Then think about, is there anything you need to plan for for Monday? Are there any important tasks that you need to get done for Monday? And then when might you schedule that? When you're feeling more relaxed or when you feel like you have more energy or even more support to get it done. Also, you can journal, either use a note section in your phone or just paper and pencil and just write down what is concerning you, what's bothering you, why. And what happens is, is you're taking it all from your mind. It's like a mind dump, a thought dump, an emotion dump, and you're sending it away from your mind into either your phone, computer, or paper. And it's a, it's a psychological trick where you're removing it from yourself and you're putting it somewhere else. Yeah, I want to write it down and then I want to put it somewhere else. Like I want to like fold it up and like check it. Throw it away. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Rip it. You can also rip it up. Mm -hmm. It's, like, it's, it's just symbolic, you know, like draw a picture when you're a kid, you know, draw a picture of Monday as the monster and then draw yourself beating it like a little comic book character. Uh -huh. You're the superhero and you got rid of Monday. Right. All right. Well, you know what? You can continue the conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert.